Welcome back. Welcome to Aesthetics Plus Linux. So today we are going to be briefly talking about something called uh, CIT or microneedling, which is CIT stands for Collagen Induction Therapy. Microneedling is a process by which you induce collagen formation under the skin and it is an anti-aging procedure. So what is collagen induction therapy or microneedling? Uh, collagen induction therapy is any procedure that you do to induce collagen formation or collagen neogenesis under the skin or in that area. So microneedling is the most common form of uh, collagen induction therapy that you will hear about. So this is basically a derma roller and uh, this has a roller here which has small spikes or small needles inside and these are when used on the surface produce micro punctures and this allows that micro punctures as they heal they allow the collagen induction to happen so what are the common areas where you can do this most commonly it is done for anti-aging procedures fine wrinkles open pores and of course uh, acne scars the finer scars if they are bigger scars, you might have to do a subsection. So that is where the microneedling therapy comes in. So how does microneedling help? What basically does is if this is your skin, it is causing small punctures under the skin. And as this causes an injury to the skin, it heals and the healing process induces more collagen formation. And that is the whole basic premise in simple terms as to how this collagen induction therapy works and uh, if you do too much then of course it's going to form a wound and if you do too little then it doesn't actually induce collagen formation so you get you need to get the depth right according to the skin type according to the condition and according to what your indication that you're using it for so depending on that micro needling can help you in and it can help you as an anti-aging procedure it can help you get rid of fine wrinkles fine pores and uh, of course improve the texture of the skin and of course might give you a proper glow but micro needling therapy always needs proper aftercare that you need to take care of it What are the different modalities of collagen induction therapy or microneedling? Uh, so microneedling or collagen induction therapy is basically as I mentioned where you're going to make small holes into the skin to induce a healing response and that is what deposits the collagen and that is what helps you heal or rejuvenate the skin. Along with this, so this can be done by various methods most commonly as I mentioned is you can do it with a derma roller. The second one is you can do with a derma pen. Basically, it is the same derma roller, but it is mounted on a on a pen-like structure, and uh, we will show you in the next video uh, doing it. And it vibrates at a higher frequency, so it makes micro holes, small holes, at a specified depth. Whereas the derma roller, you have to roll it across the skin to that specified depth. Along with this, you can also do lasers, which is basically the pixel lasers. Uh, nowadays, you have the carbon dioxide pixels and uh, the fractional lasers. So they basically do the same work as how the microneedling or the uh, derma pen will do, but they do it with lasers. So the depth is much more precise. And uh, the whole premise of all this is as they cause the injury, the healing response is activated and that is what causes new collagen deposition and rejuvenation of the skin. 
So collagen induction therapy can be, as I mentioned, it could be isolated where you're doing only the derma roller or the derma pen or the lasers, or you can combine it with PRP. And most commonly the PRP is combined with the derma roller or the derma pen to give you the vampire fa facial. So the vampire facial is basically the derma roller being used along with the PRP. So what this does is it introduces the PRP or the platelet rich plasma right down to the dermis level where you actually need the rejuvenation. We also do this for stretch marks and because stretch marks is basically a break in the dermis so you need collagen deposition there again so because the stretch marks are more wider and deeper so yes it takes a little more work and a little more time and it might still not be 100 percent but it still helps so these are some of the indications or areas where you can use collagen induction therapy and uh, microneedling so it can also be used as a drug delivery method but most commonly it is used for rejuvenation by the healing processes which occur and when we combine it with the PRP the results are more enhanced because the platelets are also releasing the growth factors which is causing uh, a change. So what are the precautions that you need to take after doing a microneedling or a collagen induction therapy? Most common or uh, the most important precaution for our skin types uh, which is basically type 4 to type uh, 5 here most commonly can go up to type 6 the most common the precaution that you need to take is you have to do a proper skin care regime and you have to take care of sun protection to prevent these areas because these are all damaged once you are doing a microderma uh, derma roller on it or a derma pen on it you are injuring and you are causing injury to the skin and injured skin always stands so prevent it from tanning though it is of course the deeper you go the injury is more the tanning is more but if superficial they heal faster but you still need to protect yourself you have to protect your skin from getting tan and this is something that you have to keep on so you need to be well versed in how to maintain your skin and how to take care of your skin and then do these procedures so that the effect can be maintained so if you don't look after it properly then yes some some cases uh, if your skin is more prone to getting tanned then you might end up with a darker area in that in that place so you need to do a sun protection properly you have to follow and moisturize the skin properly allow it to heal and after doing the collagen induction therapy please do not have any event in the first week or so because you need to give it that healing time so that, that initial effect of the injury of the micro needling is gone and then once it heals then you can of course get back to all your normal routine activities these procedures are usually repeat procedures so you might have to do it a few times to start noticing the results and then after a few months you just give a you can just do something to keep the process going so like you do it once a month for about four or five months and then maybe once every three or six months later on to keep the um, healing effect or to keep the effect of the microneedling going. So that is how the microneedling is done. If you have any other queries, please get in touch with us. You can drop us a line. We will be happy to answer them for you.